Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix this error on a computer with Windows 8.1. Alright, so it says we couldn't complete the updates, undoing changes, don't turn off your computer. Now normally you'll get this error if your computer is trying to update, and the update freezes for some reason. It'll keep going for a while and eventually this error will pop up. Now once you get to this error, it's just going to keep loading and loading and it doesn't actually do anything. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is shut down your computer. Now to do this, you're going to have to use the power button. So you're going to hold in the power button until your computer screen turns black. And then wait for it to shut down. Alright, now you're going to turn your computer back on. So you're going to press the power button. Now before you do that, you want to make sure that you hold in the F8 key. And then press the power button. Once you do that, it should take you to this screen. From here, you're going to press F2 continuously. Alright, so that takes you into the setup utility, or your computer's BIOS. Right, now you're going to press F10. Now press Enter. As soon as you press Enter, you're going to press F8 continuously. That should take you into preparing automatic repair. It says diagnosing your PC. Automatic repair. Your PC did not start correctly. Press restart to restart your computer, which can sometimes fix the problem. You can also press advanced options to try other options to repair your PC. Now you want to go with the second one, which is advanced options. So you're going to press the right arrow key on your keyboard, and then press enter. Alright, so it says choose an option, continue which will exit, and continue to Windows 8.1. Troubleshoot, which will refresh or reset your PC, or use advanced tools. And then we have turn off your PC. So you're going to select troubleshoot, press the down arrow twice. Now press enter. Alright, so it says troubleshoot. Refresh your PC. If your PC isn't running well, you can refresh it without losing your files. Reset your PC. If you want to remove all of your files, you can reset your PC completely. Now, you can fix the error using either of those two options. So I'm going to start with the first one. So click on Refresh your PC. Now choose your account. Type in your password and click Continue. Refresh your PC. Please wait. Here's what will happen. Your files and personalization settings won't change. Your PC settings will be changed back to their defaults. Apps from the Windows Store will be kept. Apps you installed from disks or websites will be removed. And a list of removed apps will be saved on your desktop. Click Next, or press Enter. All ready to go. Make sure your PC is plugged in. This will take a few minutes. So if your computer is not plugged in, plug it in, and then click Refresh or press enter. Refreshing your PC, 1%. Now wait for that to finish. Preparing. Getting devices ready. Now that should bring you back into Windows. Now you're going to log back into your computer. Once you log into your computer, you'll have to wait for it to set up. Your computer should now be working again. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.